Hello, 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 and welcome to It's All Good. I'm your host, Latavia, and I'm back for another episode. So excited to say that today I am joined by my friend, Connie. Uh, I would say it's been 15 years. Um, I think so, yeah. Since we, uh, we met, started at Temple. Um, so, hey, girl, hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Exhausted, but good. Exhausted? What's going on? I just, um, around like three o'clock, had a staff meeting. Um, I'm a school counselor, so we were talking about the re-entry plan. Oh. Yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> I, I completely understand the yeah. why I feel that way, because my head starts to hurt thinking about it, and I don't even have to actually plan or prepare for yeah. re-entry right now, especially not for students. Yeah, and the sad thing is it's ele elementary school, so planning is going to go out the window. <laughs> yeah. That's, whew, that's, that's, yeah, I yeah, got to. Yeah, just roll with the punches and figure it out when we get there and see what happens. Well, I, I pray that it goes as smoothly as it can. And I do, I do too, because I was just, um, I was reading on Twitter about a school in Indiana. They opened and then they had to shut right down because someone had COVID. Mm. That's, so and that's like, the part it's unfortunate but I think that's the part that I'm more concerned about, or I guess most concerned about is yeah. you're going to go through all of these you have all these meetings you make all these plans and arrangements to try to bring people back and then you do and then someone gets sick and it's just like exactly I mean, start all over again right it's like kids get sick in general just under regular circumstances and then that whole you know because well, when one has it, okay, now every, it's, something's going around and people working with children, you know, yeah. in daycares and elementary schools, it's like, that's something that the first couple of years, um, I remember even you used to off, you would get like sick every like year. All the time. All the time. And like some Listen, of I swear, that. even though it just started, I'm like, I felt like I had some kind of strand of COVID because I was out for like two weeks one time. So I'm like, you never know. It's just the kids sneeze on each other. They share food. They share lip gloss. Like, forget it. And now <laughs> it's like, but yeah, they do all of that. But I feel like, and this is going to be even worse because they haven't seen each other since. Exactly. Like, and that's already all that, like, because I'm doing summer school with the kids and we do it virtually. And every session when we talk about, like, what are you up to? What do you, all they keep saying is, like, I'm bored. I miss each, I miss you. I want to see you up close. I want to see the kids. So you already know there's no way you can tell them, like, you can't hug. You can't touch each oh, other. You oh. have to stay separate. Forget about it. That's, I, I yeah. would love to see that you telling yeah. kids you cannot touch you exactly hug your friend you can't do this you got to keep this mask on all day I I mean adults barely do that so exactly and like yeah. even for me because I do morning greetings in the morning like for the last two years and that's like they come down I say good morning I give them a hug so I'm like oh now that has to change I'm like mm -hmm. and it's like hard they're gonna be used to it so they will run to Miss Pierre to give her a hug and I have I don't want to be like no like <laughs> right <laughs> They're going to be like, like hip bump, <laughs> shoulder yeah. bump. Yeah. They're like, but I haven't seen you. I right? be like, Miss Pia loves you either way, but no, no. Can't do it. Yeah. yeah. One, one of the teachers said in the meeting, she's like, are, are we going to get like a plastic thing? Like, can I like shield myself? And I'm like, girl, you can't shield yourself from the whole class. I, mean, I, I guess unless you wear those like hazmat suits. Yeah. No, she meant like, a, you know, like the Uber drivers have the oh, plastic have divider. <laughs> That's what she wanted. Like I'll just get a like plexiglass or yes. here and and I hear her because it's about to be winter. It's about to be fall. These kids will come into school sneezing. Yes, and that that's the part that I'm just like, okay, it's hot right now. Yeah, and it was starting to warm up when everything like started exactly. starting. We're and who knows what the weather is doing this year? Because... Listen, girl. <laughs> Y'all told me when it gets hot, the COVID was going to go down because it don't like the heat. I'm like, nah, I think it's loving the heat. I'm like, it, it, the heat is its best friend because it's still here. So I don't know what y'all telling me. I don't want to hear second wave. I don't want to hear none of that. Leave me alone. I'm tired. Uh, yeah, it's, it's so much. It's just yeah. so much. But it's like, I don't even want to say it's the new normal. It's just, this is what it is. This is what it is. Like, yeah. it's still not. Because you can't even say it's the new normal because things are still changing. Like exactly. Everything. And even at the meeting, that was the problem. Everything had to be like, 
we think so. Well, we'll have to play it by ear, trial by error, because you don't know until it's there, it happens, what you're really going to do. Yeah, and I just, I mean, I honestly thought by this point, <laughs> it's August, like, okay, yeah. we need to be able to go back out, and we, we'll be good, like, I was I was planning because I remember back in April I was like okay I'll celebrate my birthday come August like I uh, listen we'll, I know we'll do you know we'll meet up in person mm -hmm. or something come August and it's August look at that and Me, I'm trying to figure out am I gonna be able to do anything in December for my birthday I I mean you could you could take a trip somewhere y'all gonna come on a trip I mean look I, how you hesitating I'm willing to oh okay okay I have. Thank God I went somewhere in January. Listen, I know that's what I said. Thank God I went to Mexico in February. So I could be like, at least I went on one trip. Right. Cause I mean, I've gone to, I've seen family, but like yeah. outside of that hasn't happened. Cause I was even thinking like, normally at this point, we would have all seen each other in person. Exactly. At least, at least twice. At least, yeah. Cause I'm saying it would have been your birth. Yeah. At least twice. Cause it will have been you, then Ashley. Yeah. And Tiffany. And Brittany. Yep. Brittany, um, yeah. and then I guess next would would have been the other Tiffany Thompson. Yeah, Thompson, October. Yep. Yeah. So, well, we'll have to figure it out. But I mean, <sighs> yeah, I'm 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 up and ready for a trip. So me too. Okay. So they're letting us leave because look, in terms of leaving the country, we're limited in where we could go. This is true. So, I, I already removed country. Maybe we'll go to like Vermont or something. I don't know. That, that's an option okay an or some place where you could do like you know me i'm all about a massage so where is it like really good to get massages and do all that type of stuff let's go get I some mean, if y'all are safe i'll come back up what was that place we went in jersey oh uh sojo yeah, yeah. I, I mean I'm, i know that's not really getting away from me <laughs> <laughs> that's like up the street but I was actually thinking about that place the other day. Yeah, like, hmm. it was nice though. It was, was nice. That was really nice. It and was. I didn't get a massage. I just did like the general. I did, stuff. girl. It was amazing. So yes, we'll have to. We'll we'll keep we'll keep thinking. Yeah. But, um, but speaking of New York, one of the things that we had planned for this year was we were going to finally go do Broadway. Yes. Like we did the View last year, mm -hmm. and we were talking. I want to say like December, early January. Like, okay, let's find some dates yes. at work because we're going to mm -hmm. go see a show. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't happen. Yeah. But um, oh wait, let me stop before we get too far into this. <laughs> I forgot. So I, I like to start the episode with um, just the gratitude moment of just something that you're grateful for. So I will let you start just something, someone, anything that you are grateful for today. I mean, with the way the world is going, I'm honestly grateful for life. Mm -hmm. Grateful that all my family members are safe and healthy. Grateful, even though it drives me crazy that I have a job. Yes. You know, because it's it's hard. So I'm grateful that I was able to still keep my job. Still, They still figured out a way that I can do it. And yeah, I'm just grateful to be alive, healthy, and well. Because a lot has happened. It's been a 2020. 2020. Yeah. No, I, I feel you on that. And that's, that is, that's important. I would say 2020, I mean, several things, but definitely just kind of a reminder to yeah. focus on the small things, but just like what's really important to you. Yeah. Um, and I would say kind of to echo that in terms of I'm grateful for, to be alive. And I would say more so than ever, like you said, in terms of to be able to still have my job, but in the sense of being able to work from home. Yeah. Because in just talking to different people the last few weeks is realizing that there's even a certain level of privilege with that, of being yeah. able to stay home because I'm I'm able to be more selective about where I go or when I go out and, and what true. I do in terms of You're what right. I expose to myself to. But um like just like you said, um grateful to be alive. And then one other thing I thought about this morning, in terms of just from a family standpoint, I'm grateful for them, but just the realization that on both sides of my family there are entrepreneurs and like kind of that entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. And it's just like, oh wow. Like they're like and just kind of thinking 
about like just some of my various family members like are really like they're out here doing their own thing creative running it they're successful some are doing it full time some they're yeah, kind yeah. of like part time so I'm just like oh wow like I am I'm grateful to be a part of that the part yeah. of the whole thing um but yeah, yeah. The creative juices and the vibes yes yeah it hits me every every now and again yes yes um, but um but no, just like I said, in terms of, I guess, going back before some of the plans we had for this year about going to see a show that got messed up. Um, well, I guess it just got canceled altogether. Yeah. Um, but yeah. another thing that I would say I'm grateful for is that they had decided way back in 2015, 16, whenever to record Hamilton. Yes. And then release it as a movie this year. And from reading, I guess, apparently that was in the plan. It was planned. Okay, already. that's what I was going to ask you. I was like, was that something like they did because of COVID or that was already in the plans? So from what I was reading, it sounds like they had already planned to do it, but it was supposed to come out in theaters. Okay. COVID, they decided to move it up and then, you know, it's with Disney Plus. Gotcha, gotcha. That's one thing I would hope the success of this like shows to them that they do stuff like that in the future because not everybody can afford a broadway ticket yeah. not everybody has the time to go see a broadway show so but people will sit at home and watch like i've seen this hamilton twice yes i've seen it twice yeah. i've listened to the soundtrack me too Mm, I don't know the count anymore, mm -hmm. but I've definitely listened a lot. Um, yeah, and so, I'm like thinking about if they never did on Disney Plus, who, how many people would not have been able to see it? You know what I mean? So like this is, I'm not saying the same, I get you got to make money, so not the same, but like the following year or something like that, put it up so people can watch it and pay for on demand or Disney Plus or whatever, Netflix, whatever pro platform you want to do and let everybody be able to have a chance to watch and experience it. Oh, I agree. I yeah. mean, because there's a lot of shows that I would love to see that I haven't, Me like too. I said, whether it be because of money or time. Because, like, for Broadway, you know, to see it on Broadway, you have to go to New York. Like, yeah, a yeah. lot of them tour and you can see them, but, and this is nothing against the actors who are doing <laughs> it on the road, but, like, gotcha. in my heart, it's not the same. Yeah. Um, and I've seen some shows, like when they, you know, when I was living in North Carolina, when they would come, I went to see a few of them and I'm grateful because yeah. I got to see it, but it's yeah. also like that whole thought of seeing it, seeing it like, got initially, you. Initially, like the original, the original one. one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I am, like I said, I'm happy that they did that with Hamilton. And since I had heard, you know, all the hype around it and mm -hmm. I wanted to see it, but I wasn't really sure I was ready or able to pay for a ticket. I knew I couldn't. I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. But I want to see it because everybody keeps saying it's amazing. But right. And then like, it was always sold out, I felt like. Well, yeah, and that was the other thing. It was when it was in New York, I feel like I was late to the party in terms of finding out that it was out. And yeah. then when I did, it was always sold out or too expensive. Yeah. I'm not a student anymore, so I can't try to right? get a student ticket. Yeah. Um, and then even when it was touring, like it had come to DC last year or year before last. But by the time it was just like the tickets were still really high or it was sold out. And so I was just like, well, I guess I'm just, I guess I won't be seeing it. I don't know. I'm like, I guess I'll just listen to the stories. Right. I'll just have to take people's word for yep. it. And then I heard, oh, it's coming to Disney Plus. Listen. I was like, well, I guess I need to get Disney Plus. Right. And I caught myself trying to do a, a free trial type thing. And they were like, no, you need to be a member. I was like, oh, they caught me. They got me. All right. They smart. <laughs> you and me both. Because I was like, oh, I'm about to get this free trial. Yep. And, watch it, and then I'll be done. And yep. I was, was like, like, they smart. They smart. <laughs> it was like, we knew y'all was going to try that. So that free trial is no longer an option. Yes. You can buy it. And I do know some people who, like, they, they ordered it or they bought it for that mm -hmm. one month and then they canceled. And then it, you could do that too, yeah. So it's like, y'all got some money, but I wanted, like, I definitely wanted to talk to you about this because like we were, I would say out of our, our circle of people in terms yeah. of when it was coming out and, mm -hmm. oh, are you going to watch it? And it was a lot of crickets. <laughs> we were the only hype like, ones, yes. Really excited, like, yes, it's coming. I got to yes. find it. Like, I need to get Disney Plus. Yeah. I need to find somebody with it because I want to watch it. And 
So it was like, yeah, definitely wanted to have you come on and just talk about it because I know since I first saw it, I've gone down all kinds of rabbit holes of just from listening to the soundtrack, watching it again, reading articles, doing research. Yes, yes. Like, it's like a whole new world has opened up. Um, but just like what, well, one, I would say, did you enjoy it? Or like, what did you enjoy about it? I know. I really, really love it. It's a lot. I will say, like, after watching it the first time, I was like, this is definitely something I would have to watch more than once to, like, absorb everything. Because it's like, you watch it and you love it, but did you really absorb the story? Maybe yeah. not, because you're too focused on certain things. So that's why, that's definitely something I know I'd have to watch more than once to, like, really get nuanced about everything. But all, all together, I was like, this is amazing. This is something I could see, like, show high school kids, if you want them to learn a little bit more about history, it's a yeah. fun way to learn about history. Definitely. Like, I would say, I've always heard people talk about, like, something being mesmerizing or that yeah. kind of, like, it grabs you from the beginning. I was like, I know what that means now. Yeah. Because I was sitting there watching and just like, yeah. Oh. You oh. just get into it. It's oh, just, yeah. oh, okay. And even I wasn't sure because I know they said like they rap or that whole thing. So mm -hmm. I was like, what is this about to be? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Rapping? Like, so I thought, like, is everything going to be rapping? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But I love the way they mixed it in there. I do too. And and I love a good musical. Like, I just love me a good musical, singing and dancing, and you could have me in my seat. But I, it's just the way the story, it was just a beautiful way to tell the story, to keep me entertained about something that I probably, like, I'm like, I remember I got taught that in school, but I don't really think about it like that. And So now it's like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I, I remember learning that. Okay. Right. But it yeah. was, I was sitting, like, when they were talking about, like, the years, I'm like, wait a minute. Yes. The war was over. Listen. And like, this is that's what I'm saying I think this is a way because like they always say when you're teaching kids like music is a good way to teach someone yes. something so I'm like think about if you put that in the schools like these kids just learned that song 1800 this commandments and that all that like that would be such a cool way for them to learn things because they'll oh, get stuck in their head definitely because the, the songs are so catchy uh, yes. I keep like just random parts of the song yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah no because I was really like okay I know I learned some of this Mm -hmm. I didn't know all of right? these things or I don't remember hearing about this person um so it was like and that's part of like kind of been my like rabbit hole of like well, well how much of this is true or, exactly who was this because what was it um I think his name was John Lawrence like one of Hamilton's friends like the one who kept talking about wanting to free the slaves I was like yeah. hold up who's that <laughs> who are you and did you really do this and darn why'd you have to die because you were really, you were really fighting. You were yeah. fighting for us. Like, you were trying. Yeah. And, like, the war, and then it was like, the war was over. And then you still were killed. Okay, great. <laughs> like, yeah. Hmm, that, that sounds about how things tend to go around here. Yeah. Um, but, like I said, it was just so many things. And I agree with you in terms of from, like, a standpoint of learning for students. Yeah. And even for myself, so many things. Like, I had heard of Alexander Hamilton, but definitely yeah. didn't know all of that stuff. Um, I loved how they, well, the fact that the cast was, you know, majority, very few of them were white, yes. but the fact that they, in telling his story, it was like all the different, like kind of calling out America on its yes. hypocrisy, yeah. Yeah. um, and the irony of all the things, especially when they kept talking about, you know, an immigrant has to get it done. Yes, like, yes. Hmm. It's very relevant. <laughs> Right, and then it yeah. was like, oh, it came out, in thinking about when it actually, when it originally came out, like, Obama was still president. Got you, uh-huh. But how even more relevant the, oh, like, yeah. the call-outs are now. I was just like, oh. And it's a de definitely, like, if a way, like, of course, when you're in school, you learn about how government works and all that, but you start to forget certain things like that. So it was, like, a good way to, like, sit there, like, if you watch it again and you like actually listen to what they're saying you're like oh wow oh okay this is how this works this is how that makes sense i get it now mm -hmm. yeah it was just like oh yeah oh i see what you did there and at first i was like why were people saying i remember reading that people were saying it was a bit risky or like it was a ch it was challenging the system and i was mm -hmm. like 
how or why but then when I saw when I realized because like we were saying when you watch it the first time not fully processing everything yeah. and so when I went back or really when I was listening to the soundtrack and then going back and watching it again I was like oh I get the casting was daring, mm-hmm. and then the way they talked about how things got done exactly because um, like that part when I think it was Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson going back and forth about like why Thomas Jefferson was saying why the South doesn't have, you know, that we're debt free and we don't have okay. debt. the cabinet yeah. battles. Yeah. And he was like, well, yeah, y'all don't have debt because you have slaves. You don't yeah, work. Yeah. Like, somebody else is doing all your work. Mm-hmm. Like, I definitely, yeah, that was one of, one of my favorite songs. Definitely the cabinet battles where it was like, they're speaking like they're rap battling each other, but then like you're yeah. listening to actually the stuff they're saying, and you're like, oh wow, this is like if you sit and listen, it's teaching you a couple of things. I was like, can the actual cabinet hearings be like this? <laughs> right? Like, I would actual, watch that. Can, can can y'all put this on C-SPAN, please? I'd watch that. So many more people would be informed <laughs> because this is yes. Oh, okay, I see what you okay. What exactly. You got. Like this back and forth, I loved it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just like, to me, it was crazy how, and I was wondering if you had a similar thought, but it was like, okay, I'm watching it and it's like, oh, wow, I didn't know all this stuff. So there's part of me is like, hmm, this is my country. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah. and then it's like, cool. All right. This is us. But then at the same time, I'm like, but this same country also is such a hip- hip- hypocrite and there's such a contradiction in terms of the fact that you're doing all of this stuff talking about getting free but you still were enslaving you know you were yeah. enslaving people and just this constant back and forth like kind of the constant contradiction of mm-hmm. oh we're was it just like my what was it just like my country i'm young scrappy and hungry and it's just yeah. like we're doing all of this stuff to gain our independence and our freedom from Great Britain, but meanwhile, <laughs> you're still yeah. enslaving people and then everything else that has happened since then and then just kind of in the midst of everything that's going on right now mm-hmm. in the country, it was just like... Yeah, it does. Make, it makes you a little sad, too, because you're like, do things ever really change? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because I'm just yeah. like, I was like, oh, I, I'm like proud, but also mm-hmm. annoyed. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? But yeah, it was just like I said, I, I enjoyed it. But yes. Can I oh let can I tell you the one thing that was kind of off putting for me? Yeah. <laughs> King George and his oh. spit. I can't. I yeah. can't. <laughs> I was like, why is this man spitting? This is weird. It was so weird. It but it was like I couldn't it was almost like a train wreck. Like yeah. I couldn't look away, but I was also like, wait, why is yeah. why is stuff coming out of your mouth yeah and so the first time I thought it was oh it's just a mistake mm-hmm. or like it just happened but then it was like every time he sang it was so I was like oh so is this a I thought it was a part of the character yeah okay and then I saw somebody had posted um that they had looked it up they thought it was weird too and they looked it up and apparently that's a part of that guy's Jonathan so yeah, that's Jonathan. just that's, that's just what he, he does. does oh okay yeah. Okay. okay. Cause I was I thought it was a character too. I didn't do the research, but I, I thought I was like, it. oh, there must have been something about King George. Like, did he have a spitting problem, a speech impediment? Like, what are you trying to signify here? I thought like, yeah, I was like, oh well, he really committed to this character <laughs> and you know, hey, all right. <laughs> yeah, it was I, I was like like yeah, try not to look because I'm like, oh my god. But then and then you hear the audience laughing and I'm like, oh, can y'all see this fit from where y'all at? Well, that was what I was wondering. Yeah. Like especially for like maybe the people right up front. Yeah. Like, but like But that was one other that was another thing that I would say I appreciated about watching it as a movie is the angles and the close ups. Yes. Like, I know I would not have been that close. Exactly. <laughs> <to see everything>. <laughs> <laughs> so I agree with you there. I appreciate these angles. Right? Thank you for these front seat tickets I wasn't going to be able to buy. I was not going to see this. And even just the 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 um the choreography and the way yes. the stage moved. It was just like everything just flowed so well. Um and the fact that some of them played like two roles. Yeah. 
notes. Like I was, so who would, be, what was your favorite song or favorite okay. songs? I had a feeling that this was going to come to the conversation. It was really hard. I'm going to be honest with you. It was really, I loved almost all of them, but yeah. I did pick my number one was Satisfied. That's my number one too. Right? Oh, okay. Oh, it was hard. hard. Yeah, it was hard because I was like, okay, I like them. And there's a few that I'm like, oh, I really like, yeah. but like, Satisfied is definitely like, Renee I, killed it. Renee killed it. Did and I was just like, how? How did you? You're one. You got to be loud. Yeah. You're <laughs> you're singing. You're rapping. Then you're back to singing yeah. and you're moving. And then also like emoting. It, it girl. Just, it was and not like, missing a beat. None at all. And I was just like, how? She's amazing. That's how. And I was like, why didn't I know who you were before? And I, I've loved her. I've known her. She was on One Life to Live. And you know I'm a soap opera fiend. Oh, so okay. she was on my soap opera One Life to Live. So I've oh. loved her since then. So just to see her, how big she's gotten since then. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, she's amazing. Yeah, I was just like, I, I'm i sorry, ma'am, that I did not know who you were. I will follow and, you now. <laughs> right. And I also feel cheated that I did not know who yeah. you were. But yeah. I'm so glad to know now. And... It was just like, how? And she made it look so effortless. Effortless. It's just like, you're just standing there and your yeah. head is moving a little bit. But you're exactly. Like, but you're I know perfect. exactly how you feel. And I'm like, dang, you really liked him, but you're trying to be a good sister. <laughs> trying to be a good. And also, she had to marry Rich. So right. she wasn't going to work anyway. It's just like, oh, dang, responsibilities. Yeah. Adulting. Mm. <laughs> I don't, mm -mm, I don't want. <laughs> so you yeah, know that was definitely one of that was my favorite yeah that was my number one um pretty much every time leslie odom opened his mouth yeah was like my other favorite thing because he i knew who he was and i had heard like his you know heard him singing but yeah. never heard him like that yeah it's like sir he changed his voice like four different times this is true and it was almost like somebody else was singing but he was doing it and it just looked so effortlessly but i'm like but you're you're singing loud enough for people all the way in the back to hear you yeah, yeah. just he, like like he was talking I'm just that's how i feel about david oh yes he was that's favorite. Yeah, yeah that's beside my boo renee that's my mvp right there oh yeah he i <laughs> When I first saw him on the stage, I was like, oh, shoot, that's Rainbow's, but he played Rainbow's brother in Black. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, <laughs> but, oh, shoot, you, you, you are, you, you've done a lot. Like, yeah, because, yeah, all right, then. Um, I he was, it. no, listen, he, he was, was good. Amazing. Lafayette, Jefferson, forget about it. Yo, like, so, yes, I would say those three were my, they were my top, like, Renee, Leslie, and David, like, mm -hmm. and even the one, I mean, I liked pretty much everybody, but yeah, just the, and the guy who played, uh, Mulligan and, and James Madison, uh, the, the guy from the, the, what's the show called? Station. Not Grey's Anatomy, Station 19, yeah. Right, and so with him, I was like, oh, you on Station yes. 19. <laughs> And I was like, oh shoot, before that you you were you were on He's got, I love his voice. I was like, okay. I yes. had no idea. And I was just like, I just remember him from watching because mostly from like the crossover episodes on Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Station 19. And I was like, oh, you were on that show. But yeah. Because I'm saying on Station 19, he had sang, I think, like once or twice, and he has a good voice, but oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I didn't know he sang at all. So I was just like, oh. Oh, okay. Love it. But, but yeah, I just like, so satisfied by far is my favorite. Like, I would say top. That's number one. Yes. If I had to go at like a number two, mm -hmm. I want to say, I don't know, like willing to wait for, wait for it or, um, okay. Who's like I don't I can't even think of the name of it now, but the one like writing like you're running out of time. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna say you know me. I'm very prepared, so I made a list. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> My number two because I just found it highly entertaining was Cabinet Battle. Oh yes. I just found that like 
it had me transfixed just staring at the screen just watching it so that had to be part of my top five because I was just like it just had me I just liked it yes that was and that's what I'm saying it's like I at first I was like okay my favorite is this and that's yeah. it it's no they're all they're all amazing songs yes and then when I went back and watched it again and then listening to the soundtrack I'm like oh mm-hmm. no because like the um the one running out of time, I'm like, I love the song, but the beat is also like, wait, this could be, like, I could be out, like, yeah. dancing to this. And that yeah, was yeah. the other thing for some of them. I was like, hold up, like, I could, I'm in my car driving, like, oh, wait, I just want to get out and dance, because I love what y'all are saying in the, in the, the voices, but, like, yes. the music as well. Um, but, yeah, it was, Cabinet yeah. Battle was, made, it was good. David I, made that. Listen. He definitely did. My number three was the Reynolds pamphlet. <laughs> I just found it hilarious. I was going to say, is that because, like, he was... I'm yeah. like, sir, who you really just, told you that was a good idea? Right. Like, you you, you put yourself on front. Right? Page. He's like, you're not going to play me. I'm going to play myself first. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it all out there. Without even talking to your wife first. Okay. That part, I was just like, so you didn't think that should have been step one right like let me confess to her first yeah hey this happened they're threatening to do xyz exactly so So i feel like this is the best recourse like come on right oh wow yeah and even in that one like um david's like his facial expressions yes yeah he's never gonna be president now yep he killed me it just yeah. My number four was My Shot. Oh, okay. Yes, I did like that song. I like that one. Yes, yes. And then I like the Skylar Sisters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Darn. <laughs> I feel like it's got to be a top ten. I, listen, I got ten. Don't play with me. I got ten. Skylar Sisters is definitely, like, it's, I almost put it right there with, like, almost like it plays next to Satisfied. Yeah, it's, it's just very songs. catchy, yes. Yes, there's songs in between it, but yeah. I feel like, because they're connected, oh, wait, no, it's Helpless and Satisfied. Yes, yeah, Helpless and, yeah, yeah. and Satisfied are together. I was also very surprised by her voice as well. The one who Eliza? Eliza, yeah. Yeah. I was just like, I, I knew nothing about any <laughs> But yes, but keep going. My number six, wait for it. Yes. Yeah. That's definitely one of mine. Yes. Had me on. I was like, anything that made me like really like bob my head and like learn. It's like I need to learn lyrics. Those are on my list because I was just like, that's a good song. No, wait for it. Had me being like, okay, yes, in real life, I'm with. Like, what am I willing to wait for? Okay, (laughs) I'ma just. Let me just take this little this section. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm willing to wait for it. And I legit like the last week, like, okay, yes, I'm willing to wait for it. Yeah. I'd yeah. rather have it the right way than exactly. Like that's true. It's just like okay, y'all got me out here like thinking about life for real now. Okay. Guns and ships. Which one? That Lafayette. Oh, okay. That's when, he, mm-hmm. when he broke down who he is, who he yes, was. Yes, 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 yes. And he got to get his right man, right hand man back. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm telling you, anything that had me off my feet and was like, <laughs> I could listen to this on my own without the play. No, and I have. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, oh, let me go to this one. Yep. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. And then I have Washington on your side. That was definitely a good one. Yes. I burn that was beautiful yes I was like yes poor Eliza yeah I was like I mean oh, dang like that's just why I mean do her like that right I mean and she was a bigger woman she took him back though that mm, <laughs> that's a whole other, whole other topic right like <laughs> that's a whole other ministry that I yes mean, you're right you're right and then that's why I had to give it a final spot again. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story. That's my number 10. That song, yeah. just like the way that, that it ended, it was just, yes. I did not see that coming. And then that like 
cry, screech thing. I was going to ask you, what do you, because I know there's different theories online about like when she does that gas, whatever, Mm -hmm. about what she's at, why is she doing that? So when you watch it, what did you think? Why was she making that, did that gas? I mean, I guess I was thinking it was either like her finally dying or Mm -hmm. just her almost just kind of like, I guess, exasperation of like, hey, I'm really, I did my best. Gotcha. To make sure that they knew, you know, like I've given, I've given or I'm giving everything I can Mm -hmm. to make sure they know who you are and that your story is known. Yes. I've given all I've got and and this is it. Now I'm done. Yeah. Like the thought that I had. Um, But yeah, what did you think? I thought it was like, okay, so Hamilton, she's she's gone. Hamilton is taking her up to heaven, like directing her. And I thought it was like he was showing her, like us at the play, oh, watching. Okay. Like it was that's what I thought of it. It's like he's showing her your story was told. You got it. You did it. So that was her like gasping at it worked. Like all that I worked for, my story was it was also told. Not that's bad. what I thought of it as. That's that's good. Like that makes sense. Cause yeah, Cause I know there's different like different theories. Like they said, some was like she saw her son, she saw Hamilton. Like there was a whole bunch of different theories about what. It was. But I definitely thought it was like because she kept singing about saying like I've worked hard and I want who's gonna tell my story basically. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was yeah, like Hamilton that, showing her. That makes sense because I would say, I think his last song or like before he died, he was talking about I'll see you on the other side. Yeah. And so it's yeah like okay she's made it there mm-hmm. and then almost is maybe she's looking down at the show or really yeah. like, oh they yeah they they got it and now they're still talking about it and exactly. that's what i thought of it yeah mm-hmm. no that that makes sense that's so that's, that's like, beautiful it's so deep right that's what i was like that's so beautiful i was like I, she saw her story was told and you know all those years that she sacrificed after he died was not for nothing that's like I said, the, the play is like, it was great. It was yeah. entertaining. Yeah. But there was also so much information that I would say that I got from it. And then also just so many parallels to life and like life exactly, lessons. Yeah. Just like, that's what I said. It's definitely not something I feel like you could only see one time. I feel like that's why I get when some people were like, yeah, I paid the ticket and I went like three times. I'm like, it's that good that you paid that ticket for three th- but now I get it because like you can't absorb everything in one shot you have right. to watch more than once because you probably see something different each time you watch definitely or even just I know from watching it the first time to then going back and listening to the soundtrack yeah and, and realizing oh that's what you said exactly oh. that's true you're right and, so then when I watched it the second time I got a, like I said, I had a greater appreciation for, it was like, I was actually understanding the story of it. Yeah, that's true. How everything played together or like kind of worked together because the first time I was just like, oh my God. This is exactly. You're like overwhelmed. Just like, this is great. This is great. This is great. This is great too. Like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And it was almost like, wait, I don't know how I would have done this in person. Hey, listen, they would have kicked me out. They would have like, you're making a lot of noise, ma'am. Because it's like, wait, oh, oh. Right. <laughs> But no, and I would even as I was watching it the first time, I was like, "Oh shoot!" I almost wish like we had done like a watch party or like a right to like watch it together because yeah. I I need I need somebody here to, like bounce my bounce this thought up. Yes, like, like hold up, pause. Wait, did you? Did, but yeah, so yeah. maybe we can still maybe we still can't do that. We still can. Yes, yes. We still, we've seen it, and you know, but we've absorbed it. Now we can enjoy it. Yes, right. Because I, it's just so many things that I was not expecting. I, I figured, okay, I'll watch it. It'll be cool. Exactly. And not going about my business. And no, I bow down to Lynn Manuel. Go ahead. Cause that like you, he wrote it. And then I was reading when I was researching today, like he also um did the score as well. Oh wow. Cause I was that was the one thing I was wondering. I'm like, I know he wrote it in the lyrics, yeah. but like the music as well because I'm just like it's so each song is like distinct but then there's aspects of other songs and it's like there's things there's like themes that keep going throughout each song to where they pull stuff back in about like my you know not gonna miss my shot Mm -hmm. my shot 
helpless. Um, yeah. And I want to be in a room when it happens and all yeah, that. Yeah. That was another one of my favorites. Yeah. It's the way, it's more so like the way he did it. <laughs> he was really into it. Yes, that was, yeah. And it was just like, and then I'm like, wait, you learned all of this stuff and you did it. And, but like flawless. And even how the um, kind of the, another ongoing thing of like, how does a bastard or friend you know, son of a whore, like all of that stuff, how he started each yeah. like section of, let me remind you mm-hmm. <laughs> who he is and okay, he's done what all he's these done. things. Yeah. And it was just like, how? I'm trying to think, there was another one. Was it, oh, Theodosia. Oh, about their kids. Yes. Mm-hmm. The first time I watched it, I did not realize it was, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I had not I I was like clearly I missed those first few lines because <laughs> I was like he's talking about his love Theodosia and Hamilton's talking about his son. I'm so confused. <laughs> but then when I went back and, and then you're like, oh makes sense now. Oh uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Cause it was like he says you have your mother's name. Oh yes. got it. So you're not <laughs> talking about the same woman. <laughs> that you were writing letters to okay yeah, yeah. It, it was yeah it's just it's so many and i'm sure there's still stuff that of oh, course cool. missed um but i would say another thing that i've been doing since watching it is watching a bunch of different youtube clips youtube clips of like when they performed at the white house oh and, okay and like just and then looking up each the different characters, which another one that I liked, or the other one that I liked, um, I think his name is Anthony in real life that played uh, John Lawrence and then Hamilton's son. Okay, yes. Which he was another one that when I saw him, I was like, oh, you was in Do the Right Thing. Like you played more. You over here trying to make connections while you're watching it. I know, but man, that's probably why I miss some things. Because I'm yeah. like, oh, I remember you from. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, because I, re- like, I had heard that he, I knew that he was in Hamilton, like, mm-hmm. after seeing him in uh, Do the Right Thing and one other thing that I really, like, one other movie that I was like, oh, he's really good. I like him. And then looking him up, I knew he was in Hamilton, but I didn't know, like, in what capacity or that. Gotcha he was that good yeah um but yeah so but he he and the one who played peggy she was peggy and then she was the uh woman that hamilton had oh okay Mm -hmm. they're engaged oh really yes they're engaged wow it's so sad you know i love stories like this of like (laughs) watching it here that was the other reason i was like yes so let me see if she knows because (laughs) <laughs> I do love stories like to find oh my god they found love oh that's beautiful they found love so they met uh during the show oh I love that and I don't remember exactly when I think they didn't start dating right away but uh-huh. like it was shortly after the show stopped running um but he did a video for when he proposed to her and there's a video on YouTube of that <laughs> I'm gonna be on YouTube after this watch it <laughs> um, like um because and then I found out um from looking at that so like the video was really nice because he had planned it like months ahead because they did it in london where her her mother's family is from okay and there's some castle or church some building that's like special to the family that he mm-hmm. did it in front of um but in looking her up you know the guy his name is ron cephas jones but he played uh randall's dad birth father in this is us okay yes yes so that's her name is Jasmine. That's her father in real life. Oh, wow. Um, Latavia, you was really stalking them. <laughs> it wasn't, it, it, I wasn't trying to. It was just, you look one thing up and, and then, then you just went down, down the hole. And I, I looked him up, Anthony up, because he also has music out. So I was listening to some of his stuff. Okay. And then it was like, and looking him up, it was like, oh, proposal video. Oh, well, who did you like, who he proposed to? He's like, oh, okay. And then yeah. saw that. And then I'm like, oh, well, who are you? And then come to find out she also was in uh, the photograph. Have you seen that yet? No, I've never seen that. Okay. With Issa, right? Yes. So 
Jasmine, who played Peggy, was also in Photograph. Mm -hmm. But I had seen it, but I didn't make the connection until I was like, because it was like looking her up in like the list of the things that she's been in. And I was like, that was her? Oh, okay, that was you. And then, of course, because you know the internet and everybody else listens, when you mention something, yes, then they start sending, showing you links and ads for everything else. So I saw that um, David mm-hmm. is now dating somebody who was in the ensemble of <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> Sorry, Hamilton cast. Latavia knows all your life. <laughs> Um, it's not just me because I'm late to this because everything that I've been looking up is like two and three years old now and even like I said and then of course you look at one video then they suggest other things on YouTube so like I'm just like okay that's oh that's beautiful though you know I love me or find out like oh they worked together and then they fell in love yes and it worked out it didn't turn into something yeah they'll sing to each other at their wedding (laughs) <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> just like you know oh y'all i we just want a concert right we, yes get the fact that y'all love each other and you yeah. want to get married we just i came to hear you sing thank right. you please sing some to me thank you right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no it i mean and i've also i guess from a more an actual research standpoint I did start like just looking up some of the things in terms of it it appears that most of what they did in the in the musical was accurate like historically okay. accurate okay so, um but apparently like Hamilton had a whole lot more children they had a lot more children <laughs> got you and one of they I guess the first son was Philip then they had another son that they named Philip mm-hmm. which just seemed a little <laughs> Philip the second and the third got you it seemed a bit odd but hey you know whatever works yes yes i I wonder if he'll do another one based on someone else since this got so it's probably more popular than he probably even imagined when writing it i'm sure how big it was gonna get so i wonder if he's like let me just keep on this train let's do another one and i'm telling you i would if i was a teacher i'd be like let me find some youtube links because that's what i'm showing my kids Oh, definitely. Yeah. Or like, um, does the school have a Disney Plus subscription? Right. I think we need to. We need to add that to the curriculum. Right, because I know. I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy movies and TV in general. Yeah. But I definitely appreciate. Like, I'm able to, I guess, learn or pull lessons from things. And so I, I've always thought that they're great tools in terms of teaching people things of like, agreed yeah 100 yeah like okay we're gonna watch this movie but not just for the sake of watching it but there are some things in here that i think would be helpful you know life lessons you relate to the themes yeah yes especially a good sports movie because some of them i'll be watching it acting like i don't know how it ends and getting all anxious about the championship but Yo. but i also had a, a professor at temple who I would say that's how I found out about The Office, because she would use episodes of The Office. <laughs> like, she would play episodes of the show to explain, yeah. like, well, she, this is what you shouldn't do, or this is how this looks. So, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, she has good taste. That's a great show, so. Yeah, like, I was like, oh, okay. And it probably, but even though it's like a funny thing it probably does help you like okay I can actually understand it when you put it that way well yeah no and that to me that's the most important thing because you can read stuff in a book all day but you're you don't most of us well a lot of us don't really retain the information that much or it's like I learned it to take a test or to write a paper but exactly be able to learn it and then see how to apply it like to my life or to different yeah. things i think it resonates much better when you have something to attach it to so i agree yes yes so any other favorite songs or things from hamilton no those are my top 10 that i just loved and like i said i to me i i'm probably gonna watch it maybe a couple more times you know just to make sure i got it all and um I hope they do do something else. I hope something else comes up from this because it was amazing. And if you haven't been able to watch it, I would say I think everybody should watch it at least once. I agree. I've been, I have been like 
pushing, trying to persuade people to watch. Yeah, just at least one time. Just watch it. But I know, like, some of, like, my dad and some other people, they don't like musicals at yeah, all. Yeah, that's know? what it is. In some general. people don't like musicals, yeah. And I'm just like, I mean, okay, yeah, there's no way around it. Everything Yeah, is, there's no way around like, that. I was like, there's not even one, some where they're talking. No, it's <laughs> all music. So I get that. Some It's not everybody's cup of tea, but right, I just yeah. think everybody should at least watch it one time. I was like, can you just listen to the soundtrack? Because then you, 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 <laughs> you might get interested. It. Yeah. But you'll hear it. But yeah, so I, I I see at least one or two more reviews in my future. Yeah, okay. yeah it, was, it was good. It was good. And I do hope that if there are other shows that they've already recorded, mm -hmm. um, that they'll pull it together and release as a movie, or at least, like you said, going forward. Yeah. They will record it and then make it so that people, you know, so people are not bootlegging it. Exactly. Because this is a website, I don't know it off the top of my head, but I, I have saved that they, there are some websites that you can watch some shows, like, but like most of the time, it's like off-Broadway shows gotcha. that you can watch online. But, like, I haven't found one that I'm like, I have a list of shows like Wicked and all these sh plays that I've always wanted to see and never have been able to that I'm like, why don't you, like, have an online version for people to watch? Because I don't, I don't think doing it online is going to make no one go to the Broadway play. Because there's still people that want to go see Broadway. Oh, play. definitely. That's and I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's one of their concerns. It's like, yeah. oh, if we film it, people won't come. And, yeah. like, people are still going to go. I agree. Because, I don't think that's well, going to change. If you love going to sit at a sit and watch a Broadway play, you're always going to love sitting and watch a Broadway play. But okay. if right now that's not convenient for your life, you can watch it on your screen at home. And considering we still don't know what's happening or will happen with COVID. Exactly. This is a good way because a, a lot of people have lost money because Broadway's been closed forever. This is a good way to add revenue. Like all these plays that you've had, did anybody record it? If you did, it might not make as much money as Hamilton or be as big, but you'll still find a base that'll watch it. Right. Like put it out. And, and even if for those, like some of the shows that stopped. Yeah. They can maybe go in and just have like just the cast and the crew That's true. Like, do it mm -hmm. don't need an audience yeah right record it and then put it out and yeah, i agree but i mean the, i don't know if we'll be able to go to the movies again either um but, that's weird because i've heard it was gonna they were gonna like amc were gonna open theaters and all that i don't know whatever happened to that but i did hear amc was gonna open theaters yeah i got that email too but yeah. then i started seeing reports and numbers going back up so i figured they might have been like mm. yeah I, I mean i don't plan on going to those theaters anytime so that's why i like the movies that i've heard that are coming out there like we're just gonna do it straight on demand like straight to tv pay to watch it yes i i watched I think it was the high note. Tracy and, Ellis Ross. Uh, yeah, I, I saw I saw that one like on demand, and that was I was pleasantly surprised. Okay. By that movie, like I did enjoy it. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll be watching stuff on demand. Pay yeah. Because I know there's some movies like Wonder Woman. They're trying their hardest not to do that. I get that because you're gonna make a lot of money with people going to the movie theaters. I get that. But I mean, listen, I'm a superhero freak. Like, I want to watch all of them, but I ain't going to movie theaters to watch no Wonder Woman. I'll watch it online. Like, I'll wait. <laughs> right? Like, mm-mm. And yeah, I, it was it was a couple movies that I know were supposed to have come out already. I think it's something Marvel related that they're, I, I read the other day that they're just going to go ahead and do like straight to, to the TV or really? the on demand okay. option because... Like you said, I think they've been waiting and yeah, waiting. They, I mean, they pushed Mulan like how many times? I've heard. That's what it was. I think okay. Mulan is going to come out on Disney Plus. Okay, yeah, because they kept pushing it back. And I'm yeah, like, I'm pushing I think it. they're just. I think I don't know if they've set a specific date, mm -hmm. but I did read um, like that. There, I think they've just said, okay, we'll go ahead and do it. To, I mean, like, I think that's a smart movie. decision. I, I had planned to go see Mulan. So. Yeah. Well, then, see, you got cat. Get some family members, sit with some popcorn, and watch it from your home. That's new normal. The new normal. And, you know, save. Hopefully, people are saving money. Right? From not going to the movies. But. Listen, that popcorn, you saved a lot of money on that. Yes. Because <laughs> that is the one thing that I still just be like, mm, okay, I'm going to buy it. Yeah. 
Because you're like, the ticket is almost near $30 in New York. You're like, I, that mm -mm. I don't envy that at all. Listen, so that's why I get it. They make a lot of money in movie theaters because it's like you before besides that you might pay like maybe fifty, sixty dollars just to see a movie theater if you play the ticket, the popcorn, the soda, the drinks, the candy, all of that. Right. So I get that, but listen. That's why one of the reasons I love AMC is the five dollar Tuesdays. I know everybody always tells me I go sometimes. I do try to make sure to go see sometimes Tuesdays no, to make it that cheaper. Was that and the stub hubs or premier yes. hubs like that was yes i do use that them stub hubs yeah five dollar tuesdays and then every few times they're like oh you have enough points would you like to use them for this oh yes thank you i will take my free popcorn go right ahead <laughs> but uh, yeah i don't know the next time i will get yeah. to do that so. yeah i don't know 2021 i guess yes until then i'll make my own popcorn yep and sit right here and watch the movie in the comfort of my home. So yes, but any other uh, thoughts or takeaways from Hamilton? No, I think I think we talked about it all. We definitely are very sorry. We were not trying to make fun of you and King George. We just found it a little off-putting and a little weird, but we appreciate uniqueness. Yes, because that song was catchy. Yes. It was very entertaining. I mean, he, he was saying some funny stuff. It was just the spitting was a little weird for me. Yes, it was very entertaining. And even the irony in what he was saying about yes. why you want to leave me. Mm -hmm. We had so oh, great here. <laughs> right. Like, you'll be back. Yep. Or even how he like was shading, uh, what was it, Madison or John? Ooh, whoever it was that he was like saying, like, yeah, okay, if Washington's not the president, who else you have? Yo, got you. Yeah. But yeah, but I will be watching it again. Um, we'll have to see about setting up the time to like watch yeah, it. Yeah, do like a yes. watch party. No, it was, uh, yeah, it was definitely good. I would, I would do a watch party for it. Definitely. Invite some of those naysayers. Right. So I, I was just about to say, like, if you haven't watched it or you're still skeptical, like, just, just watch. It is long. But it you is. Can pause and yeah. you can take a break. <laughs> But it's definitely worth watching um, on multiple levels. So yes, I will because that's when I didn't realize how long it actually was. I didn't. <laughs> so, so I sat there and I'm like, and I was looking at the time, like, what time is it? <laughs> this ain't over yet. I'm like, I. And then I looked at the clock. I'm like, oh wow, it's a long. It's okay. I mean, it's Titanic type. Okay, all right. Because right. I remember when I started, it was still daylight. Yeah. And then when I finished, I was like. Um, I was like, okay, I don't know how I would have dealt with it at an actual thing going to see it. I was thinking, especially yeah. like, like, oh my, my legs, where yeah. are they? and then intermission. I was like, was intermission really only a minute? That's crazy. I hope it was like a good ten minutes. Let everybody go, go to the restroom and go get you some right. refreshments or something. And I was Check like, if it was only a minute, you can't even get up, like. And probably for them, because I don't know, for that long, being up there, having to do dance after dance and song after song, props to them. Right. And then they were doing it with like six days a week. Listen. And some days have two shows. Woo. I'm like, how do y'all still have a voice? Like, did Listen. you? How? I mean, I, I completely understand why they get a new cast to tour. Yeah. It's like... I'm only one person. I'd be exhausted. I'd be like, I need a break. Mm -mm. And then you want me to do two two people? Listen. And that's exactly, that's the other thing. I'm like, and the fact that they did two people, that's so amazing. Right. I won't lie. I'm a little slow. It took me a minute to realize, oh, he's a different character now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it took me a minute to be like, oh, oh, okay. Not right. Lafayette. Yes, yes, yes. Right. But even in that, like, the voice, the accent changed. Mm -hmm. The diet, like, it was just, yeah. it was like, oh. Yeah. But he did it so well that you didn't realize. Yeah, I was like, wait, why did why does he sound different? I was like, oh, oh, different character, Jefferson now, not Lafayette anymore. Got you. Okay. Yes, yes. Well, it was Hamilton. I would say was deserving of all of the hype. And all four all, stars. Give it a four stars. Four yes. out of four. And all eleven Tonys that they got. That's amazing. Um, they deserve it. My girl did. Renee got a Tony. Yes. Okay. David got a Tony. Yes. She got one. 
Um, Leslie Odom Jr. got one. Of course, of course. Uh, That's awesome. Lynn Manuel got one, like for the show. For the that was how I found out that he also did the music because he okay. got that. And then I think the costume, the people, whoever did the costume, mm-hmm. like the costume design, the director, the orchestra, or something like like they. That's amazing. No, it was good. It was good. It deserves all that and more. Yes. It's just like, yes, y'all deserve it. And there was one article I was reading. It was like, I know Renee already got one, but can we give her another one? (laughs) I know she got it back in 2016, but let's do it again and then have her win again. Listen, I give her props. Because just just effortless. Yeah. Effortless. But thank you for, you know, Thank you for having me. I enjoyed it. Thank you for being here, talking about Hamilton and all that good stuff. And it's nice to see you, even if it's through a screen. Um, But to catch up a little bit. um, But if you'd like, you can stick around um, for my random shower thought of the week. Yes, I am interested. I want to hear this. Go. (laughs) Okay, so and you know if if you have one, you be, by all means you can. If you, if it's a random thought, you be, okay. by all means you can share it as well. But my random shower thought for the week, I feel like I need to give a disclaimer because it's weird. But I feel like all of my random thoughts are. But essentially, I was rewatching um, some episodes of Insecure, and Issa had a dream about her teeth, and I was like, oh. It's not just me, but I, every now and again, I will have this dream where my teeth come out and it starts with like, I bite into something and then one will come out. And then like, when I kind of bite down again, (laughs) they all start coming out, but it doesn't hurt, Mm -hmm. but it's just like, I can, and it's like, I'm asleep, but I can feel all of my teeth just start to kind of crumble. Like some crumble, some just fall out until it's just gum. And I'm, I'm just okay. gumming. And yeah. then it's like, I kind of wake up and I'm like, oh wait, no, my teeth are still here. Yeah. And I don't understand why, but like I said, when I saw and watching, like rewatching one of the episodes, like Issa had that dream, I was like, oh, it's not just me. And then I was watching it with a friend and she was like, I get those sometimes too. I was like, okay. What did they say it means though? I have no, I don't know. Like, okay. No, that's the part that it's just like, I don't know what it means. I feel like I looked it up once and I probably should have looked it up, but I don't know what it means. Okay. Um, or like why it's happened multiple times. Yeah. It wasn't just like one time. I haven't had it. I don't think I've had it in like recent months or this okay. year, but I've definitely had it multiple times and it's, it freaks me out so much. It, even to the point of like, sometimes if I'm eating like an apple or like something chewy, I just be like, mm, is it, I don't want to lose my teeth. And then it's like, okay, if you lose your, like, I get you, if you lose, like, one or two, you get, yeah. like, partial. But I was like, then would I have to get the dentures or, like, I can't. I'm still young. Like, how does that work? <laughs> what What does it mean? Like, why Why are my teeth? Like, why is I'm it? I'm going to research for you. I'm going to find out what does it mean to dream that you lost your teeth. Right. It is just, like, it always starts with some one of them in the front. So it's yeah. not even like something discreet where it's like, oh, yeah. one in the back. It's always teeth. like right there. Yeah, it'll be like the front teeth or something, yeah. right? Like there's the ones on the side. Yeah. It'll start. And then like the next day, it's just they all gotcha. really come out. And then it's like I have a mouthful of teeth. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah, I, mm. but yeah, I, so you've never had that dream? No, I, my teeth are always all intact in every dream I have. <laughs> they don't that's, go that far. That's good to know. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, I was there was some comfort in knowing. Okay, I am not the only person who this is occasionally true. This is true. has this dream. Um, so, I am curious for those of you listening: Have you had a dream about your teeth falling out? 
Um, and then, you know what it means. You know what it means. And if you do, please let me know. Uh, and if there's Help her. You know, like, is there something going on in my life <laughs> that I'm not aware of as to why I've had multiple dreams about my teeth falling out? Help her out, guys. She, she needs the help. Yeah, so that, that is my random shower thought for the week. <laughs> let me know your thoughts. And Connie, thank you again <laughs> for joining me and, you know, indulging in my randomness. You're not new to my randomness, but yes. 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 Um, new to the no teeth. The no teeth part, but yes. It's like I've realized, you know, the older I get, the randomness gets even this is more true. random. This is true. And sillier, but hey, just I'm embracing it. Yes. And I'm sharing it with the world now. <laughs> I agree. They say laughter is the best medicine. It is. And I have done a lot of laughing <laughs> these last few months because it's literally like the only thing I can do to keep from crying some days because it's, gotcha. like, it's just so much, so much, yeah. so much. But um, I'm grateful and I am happy that summer school is over for you. Yes. Thursday, and I'm done. And you get a little bit of a break. Yes. Before school starts. School starts and whatever yeah. that means. Trend and learning. Yes. We'll see what <laughs> that means this year. Uh, but like I said, thank you again. Thank you all for listening. As much as it does not look or feel like it a lot of times, um, everything is working together for our good. And this adulting, this life thing, it's a journey, it's a process. So learn to enjoy it for that and not getting so focused on a destination. Because like I said, it is all working together for our good. So thanks for listening and until next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>